Hey, you already know who it is. Before I played, I should have made a tutorial, at least on, you know, some modes or something uh, for basic learners. The oboe, personally, is a very complicated instrument. So, I mean, if you're going to try to play it, I really encourage you to get private tutors, which I did. But I guess I can teach you some basic notes, which would be really hard because there's like a million keys on this. So, yeah. So, I used to play clarinets a lot different. They have holes, or rings on the clarinet with holes in them. And this, you have little holes on the keys. So it's, and it's a much tinier space. So from the clarinet, it's a huge range of where you can put your fingers. You know, you have space with the oboe, you're cramped, and then either you're cramped, or you're trying to grab a note that's really far, you know, and your fingers start hurting. And with your oboe, the way you play it, your embouchure is, which is your mouth area, uh, it has to be in a certain position, which looks funny. I couldn't practice this, and I taught myself. Well, actually, my oboe instructor taught me, but I found it easier the way to get the oboe shape of the reed to your mouth is to get a straw. You put in your own lip, and it, you don't want the oboe reed to be at the tip of your tongue, so you so you can make um, tugging or whatever. So you have to make a really strange shape, which is like sucking on a straw. So you have to like this in and put this in and then yeah so with this and whatever you do it's better if you drop your chin which looks very funny but drop your chin and make a circle shape make a circle shape like an oval shape like oh yeah i remember my oval instructor always making me do eo like eo eo and something important to make sure your oval reed is working is called crowing the reed crowing the reed is when you put your mouth on the reed far down maybe about to this point or so, right here, like where this, like right here, and you blow, and it'll make a terrible sound. But it may sound terrible, but it is good, it's working. So, you know, yeah, that's a little bit about the oboe for now. Um, some notes on the oboe is, it's a C instrument, that means it goes with flutes, and I think bells, so it's a C instrument, and it's called a non Transposing instrument. Non transposing means, let's say you're, say, for example, say you are told to play an A flat scale. You start on A flat. Other than that, other people have to go up steps, down steps, etc., etc. So, anyway, back to my point. This note right here, that this one finger I'm pressing, is called, I'm blinking out, it's called a B. Play a B flat on this instrument, you push down on the A button. This right here is the A button and this one and that makes a B flat. That's B flat. High D, you know, all these different notes. But those are made to be your beginning notes. These are the three buddy fingers which are C I mean B, sorry. B, A, and G. So B, A, and G. If you haven't noticed it goes to the alphabet, it's kinda like a piano. So you know, uh, if you guys want me to help you know with your oboe or give you notes for different songs that I might play or practice on live on, you know, videos, you guys just let me know, and I'll totally hook you up, I may be not the best, but I can help you with something, so, okay, see you next time, bye!